Hello everybody, welcome back to watch yet another part on my Max Payne 3 gameplay walkthrough. This is part 23 and things are getting pretty much serious in the favela. Now we have local police in the mix and they are, I guess, willing to do everything, I mean everything to stop me and these thugs. They have helicopters as you can see. Hope they're not targeting me. But all right. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. Uh, it seems that the police has now called the hostage, so that's gonna make things more difficult since they are armored, have better weapons, and can stand on bullets. So we're going for the headshot to get the fastest possible kill. heard about these raids. Renaissance and body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And it was fair game, as I was about to find out. Oh, damn it. So little room. I might be dead soon. Just like that. Oh, Max, what are you doing? There's no one there. Oh, shit. I guess that was good luck. How tough you are now. Alright. Still up. Aim for the ties. It's gonna sever some arteries. Oh, you guys. Did you know that I have an advantage here? You just stand out in the open. I'm gonna blind fire you to death. If that suits you. Alright, that's gonna take way more bullets. Shooting them anywhere but the head. Oh. This music's quite nice. And there's no going that way. But, okay, that's what I want. All right, better go back. This camera is a little hard on me now, since it's a uh, so confined quarters here in the favela. Let's have a look. Mine. Come on. Oh. oh, that's just bad. But you really, you're the police, you shouldn't be just running like that around these corners. Fifty-five. I'd seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. Uh, bad feeling about this, going 
into somebody's place. Come on, Max. Let's have a look. In case there's something worth my while. Sou my Arthur Fischer. Sou especializado no aumento de nádegas, seios, dominoplastia e aumento peniano. Faça-me uma visita. Doutor Arthur Fischer. Cirurgião plástico e procedimentos. O ataque na sede da empresa do ramo de construção Fábricas Branco, no início dessa semana, foi atribuído ao grupo paramilitar Crachá Preta. O presidente da empresa, Rodrigo Branco, irmão mais velho do candidato a prefeito Vitor Branco, foi morto durante o ataque. Ainda não se tem certeza se o crime tem alguma ligação com o sequestro da senhora Branco, Fabiana, pelos membros de uma gangue de favela na semana passada em um clube noturno. A senhora Branco ainda não foi encontrada. A polícia está buscando mais informações a respeito deste homem, cuja imagem foi capturada pelas câmeras de segurança do edifício em Chaves. Oh, a seguir, Jesus. mais notícias. Look at that. É lindo e irresistível. Você sempre quer mais. Bang! O refrigerante com guaraná que te dá energia. Bang! Você vai ver estrelas. That's kind of weird. Yes. Oh yeah, painkillers. There was a danger of this starting to get Anita. too real. And there's no way going that way, so... Holy shit! Time to move, Max. Stay out in the open. Holy shit. That's four guys on that balcony. More. Their max. Shot for the grenades. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Run, Max, run. Pilot. All fuckers. I guess we're doing fine. Great. I was still alive. And still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Nothing here. Time to move on. Down the stairs once again. That's a fabulous good place to get some exercise. So many stairs. Slopes. Oh, come on. Come on, Max. You're gonna die. Oh, fuck it. Damn this camera. Okay, it's dead, folks, so. No regrets. We didn't even save the poor guy. There, so. I don't know what it's gonna require to do. Oh, 
Dog. My guess is that everybody's dead. Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. No shit. Time to move on. And nothing there. Oh, some animation. Cutscene. That's a good way to go. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. Oh, time to move on. You bet. Alright, there we have it. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. Alright folks. Time to move on. See what the future is going to bring to us. Okay. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? Oh shit. Okay folks, it's time to go quit for now. And there's going to be a couple more seconds coming up, but... I had no option but to take the scenic route. Only some time left. I have the slightest feeling that I might die soon. So, just like that. So, thanks for watching, and we will retake this part. Goodbye.